Today we're stepping back in time to the American Civil War, exploring the first major engagement between the main armies which happened on this day 162 years ago, July 21st, 1861. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Point of the Spear channel and let us know in the comments what other history topics you'd like to hear about. Samuel English Corporal Company D, 2nd Rhode Island Volunteers. Sunday the 21st, about two o'clock the drums beat the assembly, and in 10 minutes we were on our march for Bull Run having heard the enemy were waiting to receive us, our troops then numbering 25 or 30,000, which were divided into three columns hours under Colonel Hunter, taking the right through a thick woods. The Battle of Bull Run, also known as the First Battle of Manassas, was a significant turning point in the American Civil War. It took place near a small creek called Bull Run, just 25 miles southwest of Washington, D.C. The Union Army, led by General Irvin McDowell, faced the Confederate Army, commanded by General Pierre G.T. Beauregard. Many anticipated a swift Union victory, but what unfolded was quite different. The Battle of Bull Run was the first major land battle of the American Civil War, and it showcased the unpreparedness of both sides. The commanders and troops were largely inexperienced, resulting in a chaotic and unpredictable engagement. On our arrival into the open field, I saw I should judge three or four thousand rebels retreating for a dense woods, firing as they retreated, while from another part of the woods, a perfect hailstorm of bullets, round shot and shell was poured upon us, tearing through our ranks and scattering death and confusion everywhere. But with a yell and a roar, we charged upon them, driving them again into the woods with fearful loss. Both the Union and Confederate armies were still in the early stages of organizing and training their forces. Many soldiers had enlisted for only 90 days, expecting a quick resolution to the conflict. However, the Battle of Bull Run shattered these expectations. The Confederate army was outnumbered at Bull Run, but they had a crucial advantage, their knowledge of the terrain. Confederate forces had spent several months fortifying the area, constructing earthworks and establishing strong defensive positions. This gave them a significant advantage in the battle. When the Union Army launched its assault on July 21st, they faced a well-prepared Confederate defense. The battle raged across the fields and woods surrounding Bull Run, with both sides enduring heavy casualties. One of the key factors that impacted the outcome of the battle was the arrival of Confederate reinforcements led by General Thomas Stonewall Jackson. His troops, inspired by their commander's bravery, held a crucial defensive position on Henry Hill. As we neared the bridge, the rebels opened a very destructive fire upon us, mowing down our men like grass, and caused even greater confusion than before. Our artillery and baggage wagons became fouled with each other, completely blocking the bridge, while the bombshells bursting on the bridge made it rather unhealthy to be around. As I crossed on my hands and knees, Captain Smith, who was crossing by my side at the same time, was struck by a round shot at the same time and completely cut in two. Stonewall Jackson's arrival was indeed a turning point. As the Union forces pushed forward, they encountered fierce resistance from Jackson's troops. It was during this phase of the battle that Confederate General Bernard B. made a remark that would forever etch Stonewall Jackson's name in history. According to popular accounts, General B. exclaimed, there stands Jackson like a stone wall. This phrase would immortalize Jackson and earn him the nickname Stonewall. It also boosted the morale of Confederate soldiers who rallied around their steadfast commander. It's fascinating to see how one individual's actions and reputation can have such a profound impact on the course of a battle. But let's delve deeper into how the Battle of Bull Run impacted the overall war. The Battle of Bull Run shattered the illusion of a quick and decisive Union victory. The Union Army, expecting an easy triumph, suffered a humiliating defeat. This outcome had significant repercussions for both the North and the South. 
After I crossed, I started up the hill as fast my legs could carry, and passed through Centerville and continued on to Fairfax, where we arrived about 10 o'clock, halting about 15 minutes, then kept on to Washington, where we arrived about 2 o'clock Monday noon, more dead than alive, having been on our feet 36 hours without a mouthful to eat, and traveled a distance of 60 miles without 20 minutes halt. Samuel English Corporal Company D, 2nd Rhode Island Volunteers. The Union defeat at Bull Run had a sobering effect on the Northern populace. It made it clear that the war would be long and arduous, dampening the initial enthusiasm for a swift resolution. It also prompted the realization that a more robust and organized military strategy was necessary. The battle led to a change in Union leadership. General Irvin McDowell, who had commanded the Union Army at Bull Run, faced heavy criticism for his tactical decisions. He was subsequently replaced by General George B. McClellan, who would go on to play a prominent role in the war. McClellan brought a new approach to the Union Army, focusing on reorganizing and training the troops. This shift in strategy played a crucial role in preparing the Union forces for future battles. The Battle of Bull Run also had international implications. The defeat of the Union Army at Bull Run boosted the Confederacy's international standing, particularly in Europe. It gave hope to foreign nations considering recognition of the Confederacy as an independent nation. The Battle of Bull Run revealed the need for professional medical care for wounded soldiers. The scale of casualties overwhelmed the medical personnel and resources available at the time. This realization prompted improvements in medical care throughout the war, leading to advancements in field hospitals and the establishment of the United States Sanitary Commission. That's a critical point, and one that often gets overshadowed by the military strategies and outcomes of battles. The Battle of Bull Run highlighted the urgent need for better medical support for the soldiers. The subsequent advancements in medical care brought about by the war would have a lasting impact on battlefield medicine. The Battle of Bull Run, a watershed moment in the American Civil War, 162 years ago today, demonstrated the unpreparedness of both sides and shattered the illusion of a swift Union victory. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me for our continuing series, Untold Heroes and Little Known History. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and leave a comment if you can.